Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we are at Leighton Customs picking up my wife's Land Cruiser after getting the whole makeover that I have talked about over I think like the last couple of months at this point. We're also going to be dropping off my Land Cruiser to get some work done. I'll kind of talk about that in today's video. Uh, but a huge shout out and thank you to Leighton Customs for doing the work. I'll include a link to Doug's website in the description down below so you can contact him if you're interested in getting stuff like window tint, vinyl wrap, paint protection film, you know all the cool car upgrades. So before we unveil the wife's Land Cruiser, let's quickly talk about mine. Basically, I'm just getting an adjustment on it. So I tried a new product on the Land Cruiser. Uh, and to show you what the product is, open the door. So the Land Cruiser was originally black, but now it's green. This is not vinyl. So this right here on the Raptor is vinyl. And the difference between what is on the Raptor and what is on the Land Cruiser is the thickness. So regular vinyl right there is only about like four to six millimeters thick. This has what's called colored paint protection film. So paint protection film is thicker. It's usually eight to 12 plus millimeters thick depending on the company and all that kind of stuff. And so basically you get the benefits of vinyl here with the color change, but you get the benefits of paint protection film with actually protecting the paint. My experience in the past with vinyl is that rock chips still get through. Whereas with this colored PPF, um, yeah, it's not supposed to go through. Also, front runner. Anyways, so yeah, we're just getting it adjusted. A really difficult product to put on the car. That's why I'm not sure I'm gonna use it in the future because it's basically more difficult than PPF or vinyl to keep on the car, to keep it stuck on the car, if that makes sense. So here is the unveil of the wife's Land Cruiser. This, I feel like, is a much bigger transformation compared to mine because of the fact that hers had so much more, like, chrome on it because of the chrome side strips and everything. We'll talk about those in a moment. Um, but also the change of the coloration with the wheels and everything from the silver to the bronze. And so, yeah, let's dive into the different elements. Now, the first thing, just like my Land Cruiser, we did colored PPF. And again, like I said earlier in the video, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this product again in the future. Probably going to go back to vinyl and regular PPF because it's just super difficult to work with and all of that. And I'm not sure about the longevity of this compared to regular PPF. Like my Jeep, for example, is going on two years with regular PPF. Anyways, you can see here with the grill, so it's painted satin black that also matches the roof as well. And... Yeah, just the front end. And then also those little around the fog lights, those are black to kind of match everything. Now you notice this has the heritage wheels. So we took the wheels from my Land Cruiser and just threw it on hers because I wanted 17s on mine. And then these are 18s. And then we got the beefier all-terrain tires. Now it's so funny, mine has the negative offset and I'll pop outside to show you guys again. This is not negative offset. Mine's like a neutral offset. This is definitely positive. So it does look dorkier compared to mine, but I mean, this is what the Land Cruiser looks like stock so uh, anyways you guys were correct about these there are holes underneath so we had to just uh, paint those basically to make it so that they worked with the overall look because holes yeah don't make sense and then you can see satin black satin black on the door handles to create some nice contrast and then we've got more satin black here on the back including on the Torta logo i'm pretty sure uh this is looks like it's vinyl and then i think this might be painted here at the bottom because wrapping over that would be just a complete pain uh, but even the, <laughs> that's crazy to see how that's wrapped but yeah I'll, I'll probably have to take it outside so you guys can see the rest of the rear i will say though it turned out really cool in terms of the look i mean look at that why didn't Toyota ever do this from the factory? This is what I want to like, this is something I want to emphasize in this video. Toyota did tons of cool colors and everything for the 4Runner. They even did some for the Tacoma and the Tundra. They never really did anything for the Land Cruiser. I mean, there were some off colors. Like I think there was like that brown that they did at one point, but for most of the 200 series existence, it was white, black, silver, and that was pretty much all in gray, right? Those are the colors you could get. And so they never they never did any exciting colors like they did with the TRD Pros and all of that. And so I think this is cool to do this on a Land Cruiser because this is, I mean, similar to Forerunner uh, in terms of like, I can't remember, I think it was like the cement or whatever. Anyways, but yeah, similar in terms of a Forerunner TRD Pro color, but it's on the Land Cruiser. And so I think it just looks cool. But here's what I'm talking about with my Land Cruiser. You can see it's not quite a negative offset, but it's, just a little bit of tire poke 
And so it makes the car look quite a bit more aggressive. Also, it's interesting to see, because mine has the Heritage lights, because it's a Heritage Edition, so they're blacked out versus the silver on hers. The silver on hers doesn't bother me nearly as much as I thought it would. But yeah, the, the tire's poking out, and then obviously I did a more aggressive tread pattern on my tires, because hers is gonna be more of a mall crawler, mine's actually an off-roader, so that's why we did the different tires on it, but there's the stuff. Well, now we are officially leaving. Let me know if you guys like the green more, or if you like the gray more on the Land Cruiser. And something that I'm really interested in seeing is if these Land Cruisers drive any different, heritage versus non-heritage. I know it's something that is silly because they're both Land Cruisers, but the suspension sits a little bit different. Um, I commented and I said, I think it's because the third row, because the third row and these are really heavy. Uh, basically the Heritage, it's butt end sticks up a little bit. It's got a little bit of rake. Whereas this is pretty level front to rear. Someone said it has slightly different rear suspension. So maybe that's also the case, but regardless, I guess we'll see if it drives different. What I will say is <laughs> um, we haven't, I haven't driven uh, this one at all. And it kind of smells like an old person, the, the non-heritage. The heritage doesn't, but this one, yeah, kind of has that like, it's weird. Yeah, it kind of smells like an, it's, it kind of smells like an old person a little bit. It's, it's very, very strange. I'm not really noticing a huge difference with the ride. I think the non-heritage, or sorry, the heritage might actually be a little bit smoother over the bumps. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like the it seems like the heritage is a little bit smoother over the bumps, but outside of that. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's 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 I mean, here, here's your <laughs> point of here's your point of view with it so we've got the land cruiser all plated up and I want to give you guys one last look at the land cruiser here in the sunlight so you can kind of see how the gray coloration and then with the bronze and all that looks in the sunlight also I forgot to mention we did keep the side steps my wife uh, saw that I commented on getting rid of them and she did not like that at all she actually said that she wanted to keep them so <laughs> we've kept the side steps in the land cruiser as well I think it looks really good. It's like the same color as that Sienna over there. Yep, my Land Cruiser has a cool color just like a minivan. And that's basically what we're using it as. It's gonna be a minivan. So let me know you guys think about the transformation of my wife's Land Cruiser from boring to cool. So I'll see you.